Today, um, this is another video on how to create your own um, game using C Sharp. Um, well, tutorials, C Sharp series. Anyways, I need a good intro for this. Come on. Anyways, let's create a new C Sharp script. Call this um, GUI tutorials. <coughs> I'm going to be showing you GUI functions and uh, a lot of 2D stuff. So let's just wait until this opens, which will take ages. Hope, hopefully, it's not that long. In fact, I'm just gonna stop the video and um, to save you guys time. Okay. Um, and uh, by the way, just saying, uh, I don't have anyone with me, so um, today it's just me. And uh, yep, that's it. And uh, one more thing, I actually forgot to record video, so I'm like quickly recording the. Anyways, let's create. Um, in the last tutorial, I told I told you about public and private and variables and some functions. So let's create a public and um, on GUI function. Oh, oops, forgot the void. That's important. Anyways. This function is uh, called by Unity every two times in a frame. And if you remember from last time, a frame is uh, repeated depending on your computer, how fast the game is running, um, about 60 to uh, 30 to 60 percent, 30 to 60 times in a second. Um, so it's, uh, this is getting called quite a lot of times. So <clears throat> just, you know. Telling you. So um, what we can do here is we can create a lot of stuff with this. So we can type in GUI layout dot box. <coughs> Hi, and I'm just gonna tell you the difference between GUI layout and GUI. So oops, comma. There we go. And uh, the difference is GUI layout, with GUI layout, it layouts automatically starting from the top left to bottom right. Um, but with this, you can actually position it yourself and size it yourself from here. So you can type in 0, comma, 0, comma, um, 100, comma, 100. So it's going to be at the position 0, 0 on the screen, which is top left. And it's going to be a hundred by a hundred wide. This also resizes itself as well. And you're probably wondering why would I need that? Because it only can do top left to bottom right. Um, but you're actually wrong. Y you can you need to use that for some things as well. For example, if you created a window, then it's better to it's better to use this in the window than to use this because it's going to automatically position it in the window and uh, with the coordinates it's going to be really hard to do that so let me just quickly drag the GI tutorials in the main camera and play it and there you go the GUI layout one is the one that's behind it the one that's smaller but the um, our 100 by 100 is perfect square is here as you can see by the way sorry um, if you <coughs> think my voice is like bad or anything because I've got a sore throat right now so, GUI layout dot box Test. Oops, forgot the quotations. Test. Okay, I'm now going to show you what happens if there's a G uh, a rect one in the middle, and there's a G layer there and a G layer there. So, and you can probably see that it ignores it. If it um, <coughs> checked if there's a GUI rect 
one here, a simple GUI one, not a GUI layout, then the new test would be here. But it ignores all the GUI ones, it only looks at the GUI layout ones. So, so those two are talking to each other and uh, adjusting their position and the size. But that only follows your instructions by going to that position and that size. So. Okay, now um, let's look at some buttons. Okay, if GUI layout dot button, this is a button, and uh, let's make it let's use a variable later on yeah yeah we'll use a variable later on so right now this button is just going to print oops hi and it's pressed so <clears throat> create a if statement i have not even told you what a if statement is right now um i'll just tell you what a if statement is if you don't know it should be self-explanatory it's just a a statement when the thing that's inside these bracket has to be true before it can run the things that is inside the semicolon semi uh, whatever these brackets are called French brackets curly braces whatever okay so if that's true and that is only true when we press the button it's going to run this okay so it's saying if you press the button we just created a button so and uh, if it is true then it's going to run this and quickly before I actually do get ahead of myself I want to tell you one more thing see if we type in GL layout it's, this is a class built in unity called GUI layout like our class and if we go to dot and button and do this then this is a built-in function in unity 3d so let me just show you like static they put it as static so I need test I'll tell you what static and uh, static does okay so it's basically just like that so test func as you can see the difference since I'm in the same class I don't need to add in that but as you can see I'm not in the GUI layout class that's why I need to tell it to go to that class first so it's basically like that and uh, that function creates the button so you should be thanking Unity for implementing all these features in so basically that creates a button and if that button is pressed down um, that and it's in a if statement that's when the if statement is activated so for example let's create a boolean like I showed you in the last um, tutorial so boolean bool var equals to false and if Okay, now since that is false, it's not, and uh, I'll put that in there, and uh, it's gonna check if that's true, it's going to run this. In fact, it's going to print hello world. So if that's true, um, boulevard is true, as you can see here, if boulevard, then it's going to run this. Okay. And uh, if you want to make it false, then you can do that. So it's going to check if boulevard is false, then it's going to print hello world. So that's it. Your quick explanation. And you can also use these um, Boolean variables for toggle, like ticky boxes. So GUI layout dot toggle. And then you need to type in your. Um, <coughs> Boulevard again, and you can just end it here. Oops, forgot one thing. Probably G. Oh yeah, sorry. Oops. Um, it's the 
what the hell am I thinking? Okay, it had. Um, I'll tell you why. I'll explain it later. Okay, so this is a sticky. Oops, sticky. Oops. Okay. Um, basically, this is uh, the boulevard, and why I made I made it equal to this is because um, I need it. I need to make it so this boulevard is uh, if you check it it checks and if you uncheck it and then it unchecks so that's why I needed to make it equal to GLL you can just uh, leave all of your questions in the description below or I mean the comments below sorry I can't think straight today so so, um, GL layout, as I said, told you, it goes into the class, goes into the toggle function, and creates a blue bar. And uh, using this, so since it's false, right now it's going to be unchecked. And uh, this is the text that comes after the blue bar or the ticky box. So, let's try it, and uh, you can see it for yourself. So, um, as you can see, there's a ticky box and there's the button. So if I tick this box and untick this box, you can see it works. This is a button, and as you can see, high appeared. Quite simple, quite good. So, um, that's it for the on GUI. Now let's get to some skin work where you can actually edit the skin of the GUI on GUI. By the way, this is not good for creating games. This is only good for creating the main menu or the, mm, what do you call it? The um, pause menu or something like that. So let's create a skin. So I'll show you how to add in the skin. <coughs> So, public. So we create a public GUI, my skin, and we're going to set it to GUI. The GUI dot skin equals to. There you go. And uh, that's it. So, oh, uh, by the way, I'm only gonna be um doing one. Um, tutorial this week. Sorry to sorry about the bad news, but I might do it in the um. I mean this week, like this is the only. This is just the one tutorial, and the next on Sunday, the Sunday that's coming, I'll try to make more on the um fifth. I'll try to make more. So, anyways, yeah. Um. This is the GUI skin, and basically what it does is it just gives your, um, your, bin, I don't know what do you want to call this, GUI or 2D things, uh, a skin that's like over on top of it. So since there's no my skin as you can see um, I made it public that's why it's appeared in here by the way so as you learned in the previous tutorials uh, so if I make a, a skin quickly so I click create new skin GUI skin name it uh, new GUI skin just like that I can pick the background for the box the buttons and I can put it in here. Uh, now I'm going to actually show you how it works. It, it does actually work. So if I remove, let's go to ticky box thing. Ticky box, the toggle thing. Oh, okay, there we go. Normal. So when it's unchecked, it's using that. Okay, so none. As you can see, it just disappeared. 
And the reason why it appears when I hover over it is because if I go there, there's a hover one. If I in it, disable that, now it doesn't appear. So that is it for um, this tutorial. Hopefully I did. Oh, okay, I forgot one thing. I just realized it. So that's the GUI skin. Now let's get to the GUI style. So let's create a public GUI style. Oops, style. My style. Copy that. And well, basically, what you can do with GUI style is um, you can assign it to different things like that, for example. Like that, you need to assign it. Oops, you see me, you need to assign it like that. So, but um, with GUI skin, you can actually do that. You can make it GUI dot skin equals to um, my skin, and then if you only want to assign it to this and not this, then you can do GUI dot skin equals to null because when it's null, it goes back to normal. So, just saying. So it's my style, and then my style again. Minimize this, um, play it, and then I'll show you what happens in the main camera. Hopefully that's public. Yep, public. Um, as you can see, it's quite bad. It looks quite bad. But if we open here, um, we've got all the options to change everything basically. Um, here. So uh, if you're only using uh, for this for like a uh, layout, then that's good. Hi. There we go. This is mainly used. This is mainly like not used that much used. Anyways, GS skin is better, but I gotta show you all the features of what you can do because you might need this later, sometime later on. So that is it, I think. Now, if I miss something, please leave it in the comments below, and I will get it in the next tutorial. But thank you for watching, and have a great day.